foodies this is jenny here from jenny's walk and a lot of you said jenny we don't see you we only hearing you well i decided to make this lovely video for you i just hope we don't run too long so my friend is coming over to my house and i want to make a nice duck but this duck my dear foodie take a look in here with granny big old basin with a big bus right there in it you know what's going on already so I marinated this meat already overnight, but this is the pecking duck. You know when you go Canal Street and you see the roast duck all hanging there? This is that duck. This is that the local trend, that duck you will get in the verbato, as what you've seen I have done in my video in the past. So there's a lot of fat and a lot of skin, so you need to cut all that out. So foodies, you know what I start to cook? I gotta tie up these dreadlocks. So let's tie up this here first, and let's get into this. So you know the hand clean already, it's just a touch the here. So let's get started. So here, let's zoom in here, my dear. So this is what I am telling you about. I cut them pretty big because they're very much soft. They're not very hard. Uh, big pieces of meat. I know you're going to cut yours a little small. I leave some fat and I also leave some skin in there because I like my meat with some skin. So it all marinated with bandanya, polina, you name it. You know I got it in there. So here I have garlic and onions and I'm going to be using some of the Savidal Riri peppers. Yep, we're going to add some of that. And look what I have here. <laughs> Don't get jealous. Yep, that's right. This is from Mr. Vidal's garden. Look at that beauty. So we're going to add a couple of pimento peppers into this duck. There you go. That looks about good. And we're going to add a handful of some Riri. We're not going to pop them. Once you keep the stem there, that's lots of flavors from the stem. And leave it closed. Don't put it out. The flavors, the um, the heat will not escape and make your food overly spicy. So over here now, my Filipino friend brought me some rum on his travels back home. So I'm going to hit a drink for myself and I'm going to hit one for the duck. Uh, this is very fresh. Now I did wash it with coffee and all of that as you all know I do with lime, le with lemon, sorry and um, salt so here i have some lime oil you could use lime oil to drop a few back in there as i say it's very gamey and it's fresh or if you have lemon oil while orange whatever have you and the rum will calm some more down i have some broth over here i made for myself and you all know i love to cook with the, the, the dry lime so we have this also we're going to be using so let's get started over on this side now what i'm going to be doing is my own curry mixture here this is black black cardamom and i took the seed out this is what the seed look like if you zoom into it so that's the shell there and here is a little green cardamom this is what the seed look like and this is the shell so i'm going to take the shell out of these and we're going to add them into our pot here is cinnamon and clove you don't want to overpower your spices here is coriander and cumin or jira i'm going to add that in there here is black mustard seed and yellow mustard seed this is nagila so nagila this is fennel so the fennel and the nagila we're not going to add that right now because that is going to burn very quickly and i do not want it. here i have some meti there you go or fennel greek so we have fennel seed fennel greek and we're going to leave this two on the side so let's turn this heat on and let's give this a gentle parch and when i'm ready we're going to add those other two last now if you wish to add some chili pepper you dry chili pepper to infuse in there you could do that so let this get roasted to make our own curry powder so foodies the kitchen smells marvelous and you see how nice lightly toasted so this is a point we're going to add the nagila that has a pungent taste just like the meaty and the fennel that there has a nice minty taste here for this is my garlic and here is my ginger. So now let's use this and we're going to use fresh ginger and garlic. So this looks well. So I just want to pop two of the riri peppers to expose the heat. So we will just have that heat going on in there. So, so this looks marvelous. Now we're not going to make it too spicy. I like people, my friends, my guests to enjoy the meat. Not overwhelmingly um spicy or too much uh, seasoning green herbs and all of that you want to just balance everything off very beautiful so this is all done now so what i want to do we're going to take it out from our cute little pot and this here is your little coffee grinder well i don't use it for coffee i only use it for my spices so you're going to put everything in there just put that lid there it's a little tricky there you go 
take a look now okay that looks powdered and nice really beautiful so now let's just pour it back in here i'm going to make this duck the old-fashioned way how granny will make it in the liquid water so to this i want to add my little bit of chumrico hali is it a great it smells bad <laughs> jenny why are you cooking with hing hing is very good for the gases you know, especially when you're using protein, it takes your bubbles away. You know, some of you burping, burping after you eat the dal. After a couple of hours, you're only burping away. So hing is just perfect for something like that. And um, I, it gives, it adds great flavors to your food. So to this, now we want to add a little bit of water. Uh-huh. And this is how they will do it. So this is a, a paste. This is why you don't roast those spices too much. Because we're going to be using this to fry, right? Add a little more, there you go. And this is our masala, curry or masala, whatever name you wanna call it, go ahead. There's no right name and wrong name at this point. So give this a good mix. Now you could add some chili powder or you could add smoked sweet paprika or if you have a mild paprika. Whatever you have, just add it onto the paste. Now we really need this like a paste or granny will do it, you know, with a lot of water. There you go, and she just mixed this piece. So this is how I'll be doing this today. So just mix that and set it on the side. So let's swoop over here now. This is my big, heavy pot that I want to use. We're gonna be using some mustard oil. There you go. Yes, you could use mustard oil to cook. There's edible, there's for massaging, there's all different type of mustard oil. Just don't burn up your nose and make a big set of problem. So in there, we're gonna add our onion. And you want to caramelize this onion very nice you could add a little hint of salt so it could help the caramelization that is going to add a lot of sweet flavors trust me onions give a lovely sweet flavor when it's all fried nicely so you zoom into the pot there you go and just let this fry until it gets really soft and nice okay foodie so let's take a look into this uh onions now this look oh the onions is jumping out of the pot damn okay that's fine so now in goes that ginger garlic and that hot pepper let me get all of that again give that a good mix and we want this now to flavor up nicely and we're going to add our tomato now some of you don't like tomato but that's fine don't add it if you don't like it it's not a problem adding those peppers in there and we have here that lime so we're going to leave that in there and give it a nice little toss until all those tomato melt away and release its flavors into this pot so the best thing to do now is to cover that pot on medium low the kitchen smells marvelous and i haven't started the curry infusion just yet so let's take a look now that looks beautiful everything is cooking so nicely in there yep so this is the point now my dear foodies we're going to be adding like, this is carapule leaf or curry leaf you know this is 25 dollars a pound yep just add that in there for some flavors and here is that curry the curry paste that we made masala curry this is how granny used to do it mix it up in some water also she did the fried dried one the one to just drop the powders into the oil this is the one mixed in the water and I have some meat flavors here and you lower the heat oh wow the smell of that curry leaf or caracula leaf my goodness now what you're doing here you're going to fry on low heat because we didn't parch to burn it up and we're not going to fry either to burn it up and I'm not going to add any herbs in here either to burn it up all the herbs or green seasoning went into the marinating overnight of that duck so leave this open now and let this fry until we see the oils coming at the top. The pot is calling me. Let's take a look now. So you see foodies, it's only oil in there. No water, everything dried up really nicely. So this is the point now. We're going to add our curry dough, our marinated meat in there. And we have that liquor. I told you about for my friends. So you know, this will burn off in the heat. But it's going to add some flavors in there. Anything you have, you have punch and rum, you have white oak. This is a lovely Filipino uh, sugar cane rum. I'm adding in there. And now let's mix. Lower the heat. And you're going to coat your pieces of duck with all that lovely curry paste that what we made in there. All our own curry paste. Mix 
it up nicely and this is going to let its own flavors out. You will be amazed. My friend is going to really love this duck. So that looks good now. What I want to do, this is my pimento peppers. I just want to add it to the top with the stem and everything. We will pull the stem out. The stem is green and nice. It's not dried up. So there's lots of flavors in there. Put that lid on and put that heat on medium and let that cook for seven to 10 minutes. Then we're going to open the pot. So foodies, my beautiful glass pot. These things cost a lot of money, so you have to care for them. So this is how you're going to start to use your pot so you don't shock your pot and pop your pot. Put your, your water up to how much Put your pot to how much water you need. There you go. And now I'm going to add some salt. This is for my rice. There you go. That looks marvelous. And I want to squeeze some juice, some lemon juice. There you go. And you could even leave it in there. That's fine. That's good. Wash your rice until all that starch comes out of it. Add it in there. Don't knock your pot. That's good. And let this come up to a heat so you have enough water in there to boil this rice okay so whatever pip or, or the seed from the lime or lemon is in there we will take that out don't worry about it if you need to add more water you're going to add boiling water into your pot so let this continue now lovely rice we're going to be making here to enjoy our duck and that's how you use your glass pot the kitchen smells great i can't wait and my friend will be on his way to our time so let's take a look in this pot now. So there you go. You see all that water in there? It released all on its own. So at this point, we're going to lower the heat and we want this fresh water, as Granny would say, have to fry out really good or else the meat will taste fresh too bad. So leave this open now. Just move it around so all the lovely flavors could just infuse it all the pieces of the meat and let this fry until all we can see is oil lovely curry duck here from jenny's walk okay foodies so you know granny and throwing this away so she added some water in there and we're going to set this on the side so let's take a look now the pot is calling me and if you look inside you see i told you this thing is so full of fat that is only oil you see in here from that fat that is all rendered out from the meat so you let this fry well for like five minutes so the, the the duck is frying in its own fat and that's a lot of flavors in there so they have been frying for a little bit now so what we're going to do we're going to add in that fresh water and how granny would say put it back and i have some broth over here that i want to add also this is my broth that should be fine because these meat is this duck is not really tough there you go and I'm going to clean around all the pot here from the around. So this is lots of flavors. You're going to enter back into it, the meat. Clean it up. And then you're going to scrape the bottom also and release all those burn flavors in the bottom. Slowly, nice and easy does it. And then we're going to set this on the side. Let it slowly cook until it's all done. So we have our curry duck that we made from our masala. And we did that nice water paste type in this lovely duck. I'm boiling my rice. I'm also going to make some lovely peas. This is a sweet, it's an African sweet beans. But you know what food is? This is really sweet. I hydrated it. And you know, it tastes like Bodhi. <laughs> it tastes like Bodhi seed. I hydrated it overnight. They call it sweet beans. But to me, this is Bodhi. I could just eat it off. So I'm going to be making this with some salad. So let us continue cooking and then we're going to look at the end of our cooking. Jenny's walk here. You all miss me. So I am here doing this video for you today in my kitchen. So let's finish cooking this lovely duck. Foodies, I am so excited. I think my friend is here. Let's open up the door. Hello. Hi, <laughs> How was that smell? It smells like duck and Hennessy. <laughs> I smell like duck and Hennessy wine. Mr. Vidal is here with me and I make all that lovely food for him to enjoy. Mr. Vidal, we're going to listen to some nice Indian song. I'm going to dance Indian song for you. Let's thing. Let me take off my shoes because we okay. Indian don't wear yes, so with shoes. Let's get started. Mm. Mr. V, come into my kitchen. Come on in. 
So you see over my picking. Yes, you see over pretty pot something I have okay. lined up there. Miss nice V and yes, I smell it like duck Ooh. and Hennessy White. And Hennessy White just smell like Hennessy White. <laughs> yes. Ooh. I love oh my goodness. <laughs> so come this way, let me show you what I make for you today. Right over here. I I wake up and I miss Mr. Vida, this duck is not you know the local duck we have in Trinidad? Guys, get me wash my hand. I have to taste that duck. Okay, come wash your hand. I can't right wait. Here. I can't wait. That, that is irresistible. <laughs> I have a nice piece right oh, here. Oh, you have a piece from it? Yeah, this this have no mm -hmm. bone in it. This duck, Mr. V, you know when you go Canal Street and you see all them duck and them yeah. hang up there? Put on your hat in the head. Let me see how pretty I have a look. I like that hat. Woo! This is a Wilson hat. <laughs> no, not a Wilson hat. Well, that's the best I could have get. I love this. You see how my friend is a VR yes. machine, yeah? Try that. It mm. well so far nice, right? This food will have to call for a drink. Oh my, but I have you here to see why I miss a video and the curry I put in this. I may I parch all my spices myself and I blend them because I want you to get a real beautiful taste. Really good. No so curry powder sit down there for a long time and here i make a nice little house salad you know granny with, yeah, with yeah, yeah. mother them back home so cabbage and cucumber and you grate up some carrots and lime and fresh garlic and nice. all of that house salad and we nice little pasta no dal no dal no dal no dal man we had enough dal in life in trinidad oh yeah so yeah. this is a lovely sweet bean, bean african bowl but you know what that tastes like that tastes like body seed Oh, yeah, it's real sweet and yeah, nice. That, yeah, we go, we, we go have fun eating that. We go have real fun, and we could still bore and eat it. I don't know where you worry about. And I have a little avocado. Nah, I mean, I cut my nail water, I cut all my nail to come and eat water. <laughs> I cut it and I wash my hand. Look, Mine man. too. Well, well, low down. So let <laughs> us go and fire a drink. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. let me fire a drink. Yeah. Some nice white, white, Hennessy yeah, white here. Mr. Vida, two Ha ha. So, for you know what that means? Take off. Hey. And ha, yes. yes. So we're going to open up this nice Mr. Vidal. You know, long time the people open and throw in the ground. Me no do that thing. No, 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 don't waste it. <laughs> don't waste it at all. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so there you go. Our Hennessy wine. Look, it have a nice little kind of drip. Yeah. Drip, some kind right of. You're going to throw too much. <laughs> but you better not throw too much because I want to eat my food too and enjoy it. Nice. So and I have to drive last time. We drink a whole bottle. Me and Vidal alone drink. <laughs> <laughs> and I was good, I drive good. Well, you know, Hennessy White is really mild and yeah. nice. And I also put some of this. This is a, a Filipino rum from my friend, my co worker. Oh, this is minute. rum, though. I think it's and a sugar cane rum. You season the duck with that? A season. That's why it tastes like that now. Nice. Right, so you did taste something different. Yeah. And when I cook it also, and I bouge the curry and the masala in there, I add some for it to I want the duck if you put cooking wine in the, in the Oh, book. but that's the taste. This is the taste you got. So, throw, I hope your hand is heavy, you know. Throw a nice little shot for me now. And we, now, me, you know how I just drink. Last time, you know, I just fire. Yeah, yeah we fire in. We I, fire I, I, in. That good, that good? That good? Yeah, whatever you give me, I got drink now. This box heavy for my hand. So, let's make a good chest. Salute. Salute. Salute to long life and friendship, my Mr. Vidal. My long carefree, life and friendship. My best friend. Let's bottoms up. Mm. That tastes like chandan milk. Mm. Now it tastes like chandan milk. Chandan milk, what is you that? Know, the thing with it is giving you prayers in your oh, hand. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, chandan milk, sweet. <laughs> and they come with it, go um, the mango leaf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And drink. So I want to play some nice Indian song and I want to dance and thing. When you see this, it's We go head. dance today, we go dance. We go dance today, right? It we dancing nice. for sure today. It's kind of rainy and muggy outside foodies, but my best friend is here. And you all know you're supposed to take care of your best friend, spend as much time as possible. So let me all blag a little Mr. bit. Mr. Vidal and Uncle Vidal. Mr. Vidal and Uncle Vidal, the, pot, the pudding man. And remember, he says only pudding, he's selling, okay? <laughs> pepper sauce, pepper sauce. And pepper sauce and the sauce, you forget? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, 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 Daughter. This is the police. <laughs> Chandani. Officer Chandani. <laughs> <laughs> so Mr. Vidal is here to spend the day with us and I'm we so make uncle, that's, yeah, you know me. No that's her son, yes, and he's here to spend Uncle Vidal for you, okay? <laughs> so so Mr. Vidal is here to enjoy all this lovely food with Chandani and me and we have a beautiful day going on here, my dear foodies. Let, let me fire one. Come, let me fire another one. <laughs> 
Mr. Vidal Hank can I have you know so what you no, see no. I don't have two drink in my head and I don't even know what is that what you just been you just stand up on one foot I know that ah, you hear that you just stand in one foot <laughs> Mr. Vidal one day it's in big man one day somebody ask me go drink a beer after you go ask me if they go to you know all those little old slang long time oh my goodness so mr v let me put this white business on the side here you know i like my sweetness when i find i'm not a drinker so come let's do salute salute for health friendship and to jenny's walk what jenny's comes up and feed all the food man mm. and to the officer oh yeah. all those were just lovely toast my dear foodies it tastes like chanda milk mm -hmm. And again, the chandan milk. <laughs> I don't even know if this young generation know about chandan milk, Mr. Vida. Nah, That's when you go present to Puja and the and baba knock in the in thing. Hand too. And they had the milk with the mango leaf so and they bring it. And they you like, some and you drink it. When we were small, we was the waiting nectar, for they call that. It the nectar. We was to wait for that. That's honey and milk, right? Uh, milk and ghee and honey. Yeah, we used to wait. You all don't even know and that. And so leaf in there. To flavor, to flavor it up, and that today is sweet basil, Thai basil. No more tools, the leaf thing. But these kids don't know these things. That's why Jenny's walk is there. And I try to use all those Hindi words, Mr. Vidal. You know, you have to use the Hindi word with them, right? So they will try to remember Chandan. They don't know nothing. Her son forget it. He don't even know he lost unless he joined into Jenny's walk. You must tell them when they, when they watch the barta to undare. Yeah, the barta is the dishes. Undare, well, undare means turn to, it over. To turn it over and on top the matcha. And oh, yeah. I found this with matcha and jamra. I get the difference. The jamra is the, 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 the stick. Right, the jamra is the um, bamboo. The dry bamboo. No, the jamra is the shed that you build for it to run on. The right. jaki is this dry stick. Yeah. And the machan, my great granny used to say, go on top of the machan, the kitchen machan, and that, for, the the way, for the way. For the way. Yeah, so there the we clear that up. So you see, Mami Savidal, we, we get it right now because all these words, we don't use it so often that we forget. And you know, everybody in the village had a nickname. One yeah. named Dalman. I know one named Dalman. One named Wabin. One name fish, one name crapo tea. The tea, the crapo jump inside his tea at night. He went for for um uh, when people die, wake, and his name ended up being crapo tea. Well, in my neighborhood, yes, we had belly hammer, we had cockhead, we had jockey. <laughs> <laughs> what? We had sluggy. <laughs> we had kobo. Every he named kobo because he used to dance like this with his arms, his arms in the back. He named kobo. Is that you go my kobo? Yeah. Everybody had a name in the village. And when, when somebody died in the village, they didn't mm -hmm. have my country. They used to tell a man they call monkey. Monkey is up at 12 o'clock in the night and ball hard to and to put and die. Oh, that was before the mic come on. Yeah, along. before the mic come on. Yeah, and they talk and in everybody the Everybody used to wake up and listen to monkey. Ooh, who died? That who was died. the job. And, and the other one was one wedding time. The man yeah, used to come with the colored rice. Right. We tell monkey tell when we village. He they to give Every village talk. had one of those one people. Of those, yeah. They had the colored rice that they would pass around, and he will give you. It had a name for that man. You. I can't remember the name. And I was too small. You I should know. Find a name. But um, they have a name for. I remember look me the old lady did a ten when you married him. Yeah. Well, we know she what you look at. You can't sleep with the bar and things. No. 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 But this guy used to give. This guy used to give me. Look me coming and sleeping between the wife and the husband. Look me or look at me. Look at me. Those words. And this guy used to get a little tip. Used to give me a little tip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three cents, ten cents. You know, like a tip. When he come by and he give you the right and invite you. Yeah, they say Mister Vidal. Yeah, like Mister Vidal daughter getting married. Dear, she get. Married next week, Sunday, or whatever. We should get him a cup of rice, too. Right, a flour, oil, rice. rice. Oil, rice. Money they have a bag. They have a bag. Yeah. I want a flower bag. Remember yeah, the flower bag? bag. Yeah, they have a bag. Yeah. And you all know these things. Those days were better days. And you know, it had beggars used to come around like yeah. once or twice a month. They used yeah. to come and they used to come. Sunday, they used to come. Sunday morning, my mother used to take some pennies and cent. Right. And put, she was a market lady, so she. Right. And put it in the van study. Yeah. Nobody had teeth in that house. No, no, when no, they no, come, no, no. they will give them one, one, man. Right, right. And they used to get, they used to get um, uh, rice. A little flour, a little oil, rice. Yeah. 
And you just say, look, you beggar come. But them beggar is not rude like beggars now. We they never say beggar. We just say, look, sadu them coming. Sadu. Yeah, sadu man sadu, coming. They just say, look, you sadu man coming. But really, it means they were the beggars. But they were very meek and humble people. And they were very they grateful. They bless you. When you give them, yeah. they bless you. That's why Mr. Bidal say, take the two hand. And put it. Yeah. But we can't use the two hand for the white. Oh, come Anything now, we use the two hand for everything now. <laughs> So those are the wonderful days, my dear foodies. You know, it's and nice to chat with Mr. Vidal. We got to understand and remember all these things. Chandini is a new generation. Chandini, when you was born in 1991. 1991. She don't even That's know these things. Abu Bakr take over the country. Yes. Yes. Oh, but she was born in Canada, so she don't even know nothing about Trinidad and Abu Bakr. What time 91 you born? Well, March, March 15th. When I was in Trinidad. What time March? 15. 15. My daughter born 27th of March, oh. 91. Oh, so this is the same age. She's born in Paris right now. Oh, that's the one in Paris. Oh, you when see. When I was in Trinidad, mm -hmm. um, I worked with the TV6, the local TV station, as a um, reporter. Mm -hmm. And we had to um, interview Abu mm -hmm. Bakr. Yeah. But now, oh. but now he's, he died. Yeah, yeah. Right? Abu Bakr died? Yes. Yeah, he died. He died. Oh, okay. His son's taken over. And there was, a, you know, the Muslims, they had some little controversy. So I did interview Abu Bakr. Oh, wow, well, that was nice. But it was, I told, I was like, my one of my dreams was to meet this man. To meet him, right. Who, to, who had the balls. <laughs> you do what you do. <laughs> to, I, that was, so before I left TV6 News, it was, I need to meet this man. That was, a, yes, that's I a great Abu experience Baka. you have mm -hmm. there, Chandani. <laughs> okay. You know, you know I meet him too. You met him? him? Mr. V, you know it's time to eat and you know we just foodies. How many of you remember as a kid? Granny only take all the plate from inside the buffet or the cabinet. When I was about to ask you if when we ask you this. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Mr. V. You know long time it's to be like that in the buffet. They say go bring the new glass go plate. Bring, yeah, bring so Chandani, take out some there for, for, for Mr. V that foodies. We got to enjoy a lovely go friendship light. here. Go light, go light, right? Go lightly, okay? Go light, yeah, okay. Go light, don't go heavy. Look at the new generation. We go eat two times now. We go go for second, right? Yes, we go, of course. Right. Like Jenny is what? Good, Jenny. Foodies, look how them new generation is take out food different from me. You know, Mr. Vida will really have to teach them children them some, some training, you know. They ain't know Actually, nothing. No, you know? I know where I know Uber Eats. There you go. This is Jenny's <laughs> walk. And we have a nice curry duck here, Mr. V. Look. I parch my own spices right. and I powdered it and I make it, you know how we used to mix it in paste. So you have to show your mother you used to make it like in a paste. Remember, I say it was seconds too. So give yeah. them nice yeah. meat. That, yes. They have bone. I like bone. You like bone? Yeah, I like bone. You know, bone. I like meaty, meaty. I know, I like oh, bone. I like some meat inside the duck and right. some bone too mixed here. That's good Perfect. Bone. And here we have that lovely home salad. You know, when you don't have nothing, it's a quick thing. There you go. I don't I don't wash my hand. Me I want a spoon. Eh? I and want foodies, Mr. Vida going to enjoy. Wait a minute, that's my piece of meat. That is my that is kale. Oh, Why Vida. you take that? That's that mine. <laughs> that is for me. You can I saw it and I recognize it and I take quiet. <laughs> <laughs> That's how your best friend is treat you. The tail I love. Let me know. Leave me a comment how many of you love the tail. So, Mr. Vida, let me dish out our food now. The foodies, we're going to enjoy this lovely meal here with Mr. Vida. Mr. Vida, we're going to fire and drink before we start to. You have to say when, you know. This good. You gotta say when. You see how these kids don't When mean the, 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 When you say the, when, he stop. The Polish people, they say when. When you're pouring a drink for the man, they say when. You stop. It means stop. Oh, okay. Yes. So we're going to sunny. Let's move this move this up. What did I say when your bong stop? Eh? Bong <laughs> stop. <laughs> we have some nice lime hot sauce, but we have that lovely ruby pepper from your garden. And this has some nice pimento from your garden. Yeah. The, all the seasoning is duck is from your garden. Organic here. Oh yes. So we're going to fire to friendship and we're going to sunny and bore and we're going to eat. So there we go. Come Chanini. Look down in there, foodies. Kid. So we're going to bore it. Let me bore see Chandani eat. Chandani might be pulling for a spoon. Don't forget this. Yeah. Get your own. Get your own. You have more there? Wait a minute. Let me see who plate have. You have any with the duck? Oh my god. It's okay. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Look, mom. Yeah, give me. You have it? No. I got it. I got it here. You get one in my plate? You yeah. take the pepper from my hand. Yeah. Oh, you can't. No, you drop it. You drop it. You should drop, you drop it. it. Yeah. That's another one there. So we're going to bore it a little bit. Put a little bit. Come. Are you seeing Mr. Vidal? Chandini, come and line up here. 
Jenny's walk. Love you all. Love you all. Bye-bye.